Hi and welcome to Ion Radio. I'm Ken. I'm John. And today we have another Star Wars Armada battle report for you, but it's a little bit of a special one. We're going to be flying two of the intelligent Supreme Commanders of different eras. What are we flying today, John? I have Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I'm flying Admiral Trench. So this ought to be fun because both of them have some extra dials, some extra command capabilities on, uh, on the, the fleets. Yeah, so we're going to see uh, which of these fleets can maximize their token and their dial use. All right, special shout out to all of our buddies on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you are interested in becoming a member in our Patreon ranks, the link is down below. Okay, let's get right to these very different fleets and to the battle. Grand Admiral Thrawn's list comes in at 391 points. He is sitting on a Star Dreadnought Assault prototype. In the cockpits, he has Commander Vanto, the Emperor Palpatine, Lyra Waxus, Flak Guns, DBY827 Heavy Turbo Lasers, and you might be asking why is that? That is because I also have local fire control, leading shots, XI-7s, and then the Executor title. My idea is to see how many engineering tokens I can stack on it to get some use out of Lyra Wexus. My second ship is a Raider 1 Corvette that is the Corvus title. That's it. Nothing else. I have a Gazanti class cruiser. It is Comsnet with Hondo, which is probably going to give me an engineering. So the idea is how many tokens can I stack on one Super Star Destroyer. Coming in at 392 points is Admiral Trench. Trench is on a Providence-class carrier with electronic countermeasures, ordnance pods, point defense ion cannons, and the dual turbo laser turrets. Naturally, we have the invincible title with thermal shields. We have a munificent-class comms frigate with rune hakau, disposable capacitors, and linked turbo laser towers. A second munificent class comms frigate with teaks, disposable capacitors, and linked turbo laser towers. And ending our lineup is a hard cell transport with the munitions resupply card and the beast of burden title. Ken had a bit of 392, I had a bit of 391, outbidding him by one point. So I got to choose first player and look at his objectives, which are advanced gunnery. Fleet Ambush, and Volatile Deposits. So of course, I'm going to take Advanced Gunnery to put it on my Star Dreadnought. So I first deployed Corvus at it doesn't really matter, and then I deployed him over here, speed four now. My Thrawn ship is down in the middle, it's also my advanced gunnery ship, it's going speed one. My Gazanti's over here going speed one. So all my ships are moving speed two. Uh, trench in the Providence, the two Munis, and the Beast of Burden on the side here. I decided to make trench be the objective ship so I get my extra shots there. I did think about making it the hard sell though. Either case we're gonna see if we can't take the Super Star Destroyer down. Turn one, before the game begins, the Gazanti is tossed in Hondo, so we're giving an engineering token to my super and a nav token to the Corvus. 
On the uh, Separatist side, Squadron Token goes to uh, the Providence, to so the Invincible, and Confire to the Heart Cell. Then we're going to activate the Gazanti, and we're going to reveal an Engineering, take it as a token, pass it to the Executor title. So now I have two Engineering tokens on it. Look at me go. I'm doing my thing. And then we're going to go ahead and move just one straight ahead. We're going to start out with Beast of Burden. Nav will use that as the dial. We're going to spend out uh, Munitions Resupply, giving everyone else a Confire token. And then using the dial, we're going to put an extra click on the first joint. And make a relatively hard turn, like so. We're going to go with Corvus. It's got a nav, we'll use it, doesn't really matter. But we will be using the extra click right there. And we're going to land right there. Activating Invincible. Nav, we're going to take that as a token. And then move speed two forward. Getting closer to the ISD. And I am clear of that debris field. Super Star Destroyer. I reveal an engineering. When I reveal an engineering, because I'm a Super Star Destroyer, I get an engineering token. Then I'm going to take the engineering dial and I'm going to turn it into a token. So now I have four engineering tokens. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's, it's pretty sweet. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move our one forward. I'm just going to move it from the front because it's easier. And wham, I am right there. Activating Rune Hikau's frigate. Nav, we're going to take that as a token. We are going to move forward to. We got Teeks over here. Nav, I'm going to use the dial. We are still out of range. We're dropping to speed one because I don't want to get in the blue range of John just yet. And there we go. So that's the end of turn one, on to turn two. Okay, start of turn two. Thrawn is revealing a dial. I'm getting a navigate for all of my stuff. So, not to be outdone, Trench is going to do a confire for similar reasons. Okay, so I'm going to start with my super. And we're going to attack everything over here. And um, what we're going to do first is we're going to reveal an engineering. When we reveal an engineering, the Super Star Destroyer says I get an engineering token. I have full health, so I'm going to take this dial and I'm going to turn it into an engineering token. Giving me, now I'm up to six engineering on it. Cool. And then we're going to make some attacks. I have advanced gunnery, so all my attacks can be out my front. So we have, I believe, unobstructed, long range into the front of your Providence. I have unobstructed long range into the front of both of your munificence. So we're gonna be doing that. So we're gonna start against the Providence first. Okay. So that's gonna be, I draw up five red dice against you. Five red dice, I am not going to thermal shields this one. Okay, here we go. Five red dice come, it's how they lay. For a whopping, I block your salvo. Oh, huh, okay. Cool, well this could go better. Now we're gonna move on to the front shot against that munificence. Same thing, five dice. Ah, oh, that's much better. Take a uh, six. Wow, we are going to Brace that to three. You have XI sevens, correct? I do. So I will spend the redirect to push one to the right side. And that's it. So one, two, 
three. If it wasn't for Palpatine, I would salvo. Okay, now against the last guy. So now we're gonna shoot from my front to the front of that ship over there. Mm -hmm. See what we get. Seems pretty good, take four. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to brace and I'm gonna salvo back. Okay. So I take two to the front. Doink, doink. And then when you salvo, you have to... I have to, to spend uh, the redirect to actually make the salvo. Correct. So here's my two reds. Let's LTT the blank. Wow. Um, one. I just take one off the front. Like that. Okay, I'm going to just jump up to speed two, close some distance, get some different dice in this pool and see what happens. And that really moves to there. So let's uh, get the show on the road with Rune Hakao. He's showing a nav. We're going to use that as the dial. I do have a shot from my side to the front of the Super Star Destroyer at close range. So because it's Palpatine, we're going to spend my salvo to fire at him. And we have three red dice, which, all right, that's two hits. We're going to spend the Concentrate Fire dial. And because that's Trench's command, I get to use it as though I spent a Confire dial. So I get to add another die. Oh. And then we will LTT that one for two, four, six hits. We will brace it to three, which that's way more than it should have been. And then we will redirect it to the far side, and then we're gonna salvo you. Mm, okay. So we will redirect the three over here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so then my salvo is gonna be the angry um, rainbow. Mm -hmm. Right into ya. With XI7s, leading shots, and DBYA eight for uh, take four. Hmm. Okay, um, I don't. I don't want to take four, John. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have a choice, though. Do I? Uh, okay, we're, we're spending out the the brace to make that two, one, two, and there we go. I don't have a second shot, and I don't think I want to make a second shot. I'm going to reduce my speed down to one. Yeah, just move forward. My little Gazanti that could is revealing a engineering, going to take it as a token, and then pass it over to the super. We're up to eight tokens. Then we're going to use the Thrawn dial to jump up to speed two to move up to here. Next activation, mm -hmm. Teeks, Nav. We are going to use that as a dial. Our first shot is going to be my side to the front of the Super Star Destroyer. We're going to spend out our salvo token to be able to make that shot. So three reds. And let's go ahead and LTT that one. Thought about being uh, accuracy. Um, I'm going to leave that as is for the moment. I brace Four it to two. two. Second shot, my front to the front of the Super Star Destroyer. I'm going to spend, it is not gonna matter. I'm gonna spend out the redirect token to make the shot. Two reds, two blues. And let's go ahead and spend the Confire token, which gets me a dial equivalent. So I'm going to add in, have my Lux with the reds. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to block your good redirect, I'm going to block your salvo, take three with a crit. So, um, you, I attacked your front so I can't salvo you anyway, but I will just take all the shields off the front. That's it for attacks. Let's jump to speed two. 
this will ram you. Let's make sure I don't ram myself. That's one click on the first. We're gonna go with Corvus. We got the Concentrate Fire, which I can't use because I need to use the token. We're gonna use the Thrawn Dial and the token to drop to speed two. Doing this little maneuver right here. Landed me just like that. Trench nav. We're going to use that as the dial. I have a long range shot from my side to the front of the Super Star Destroyer. It is obstructed. So I'm only going to get one die with this. So we're going to spend the salvo for the first shot. One die. I have an accuracy. I'm going to spend out the confire token now to get in another red die. I'm going to DTT, so roll one, and get rid of one. So I'm going to block out your good redirect, take a crit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let that go through. I'm going to look at it. It is munitions. While attacking a ship before you roll your attack pull, you may remove one dice. And then with Lyra Wessex, I discard a engineering to take it face down. Now you guys know why John has 30,000 <laughs> engineering tokens. Actually, I don't need to do that. I just contain. Sorry. That's why I contain. I'll give my token back. But I will eventually be doing that when my contain's gone. Okay, second shot. Um, because of uh, advanced gunnery, I get to make the shot again. So we're going to spend my contain this time and fire a single die. We are going... <laughs> You can't, can't because I've already spent the uh, dual turbo laser towers. I can't do anything, so that's a wasted shot, John. Now, uh, time to move. We are going to jump, use the um, nav dial, adding a second click to the uh, second joint. And I actually avoid the uh, debris field over here. Activating Beast of Burden, showing a nav, we're going to use that as the dial. I'm going to take a shot, and uh, I'm cleverly in a spot where all I can do is hit John's side. So uh, we're going to make that shot. I have to spend a token, so I'm going to spend, because it doesn't matter, John has exhausted all the ships. We're going to spend the brace to get two reds. Okay, that's a good start. We are going to then spend out the Confire token to get another red. Block the good redirect, take four. I just take four. Using dial, we're going to jump to speed three, adding an extra click to the first joint. Do an inside turn. I think the Raider's going to get it next turn, but we'll see. We're gonna go with the super. Thrawn is revealing another nav, so everyone gets a nav. The super is gonna reveal an engineering. We're gonna get a token because of being a super, and then we're gonna spend it and the engineering to put three shields up on the front, if you don't mind doing that for me, Ken. No. Two, three. Okay. Because we did a command, Banto says you can have. I'm going to go with an engineering and stack it up to now we have nine because it's cool. Then we're going to make some attacks. We're going to start with my front to the front of this. Munificent. Munificent. With teaks. 
So that's going to be five red dice and four blue dice. And I need two for the shields and accuracy and five, five damage. More. So I need seven hits and an accuracy. Yeah. It's possible. Just not very likely. Maybe Vanzo should have taken a con fire. Too late. Here we go. Four. Block that. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I think, just enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look at that. So, um, I can't do anything. So, clearly the first two go to the shield. And then we've got the all-elusive crit here, right? So, the crit is ruptured engine. Two, three, four, and four. Five, that's six total. That ship is gone. And then I have to make decisions. We'll shoot the front of this ship into the front of that ship. Move in the side. Side, yes. And that is one, two, three, four, five reds and four blues. And you have one shield there, plus six. So I need eight damage to kill you. Seven, eight, nine, because I've got the redirect. Well, XI sevens. Oh, so yeah, eight. Yeah. Eight damage, and then I have to take a salvo probably. And that's a lot of accuracies. I don't think I will be able to kill you with it. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what did I say? I needed eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, oh, the thing is, is you only need seven if you block the redirect. Is that the case? Yeah. Oh, well then I just yeah. block both of your... If you block both, right? Let me, let's, let's do the math, right? So one, one plus six, yeah, you need seven. Okay. Yeah, well. you, you, you pulverized. This is going to be a fast game, guys. Uh, so one, do we have a crit in there? We do. The crit is disengaged fire control. I'm not pulling structurals, John. That ship gets off the table. Jeez. <laughs> okay, what's your next shot, Chuck? One activation, you wipe two ships off the table. <laughs> like, can we make it go for a threefer? It's just because I got rid of all your tokens last no, turn. You, you know, I was sitting here trying to figure out. I knew I could probably do some damage to the Super Star Destroyer. Well, but I didn't think I could kill anything. Like I didn't that. think you'd kill. I figured you'd kill one, not both. My guess is that hard sells next did not be destined for this world. Yeah, I shoot it with the front. You might as well. Oh, jeez. I'm... Okay, <laughs> well, we'll just make this attack. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Hang on. You need three and eight total. To eight kill. total. There's... That's not quite enough. So we spend that out to reroll all... We'll block your brace. Yeah, and you then we'll reroll... block that. Reroll so these three? Nine, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was a hit it, in the corner. Well, I just re-rolled it, so it was oh, a blank. Oh, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And you can redirect one, but you only can redirect one. So okay. So, let's go ahead and spend that to make you re-roll the double. For five. Okay, so, five will redirect one. So, one, two, three, four. Four, and I still take one. We have a crit in there. We crit. do. The crit is... There's the structural damage! It's been like, what, <laughs> four or five games? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, I don't know where I need to move now. Like, I feel... So, like, the problem with you having advanced gunnery on your ship mm -hmm. is you can just beam into my side. Yep. And uh, I don't want that. But I don't know if I can really do anything about it. So, give me a sec. Take time. I think we do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see where what happens. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, gosh. Okay. That's what I do. Beast of Burden. Confire. We're gonna use it as a dial, because I want to try and do something here to Superstar Destroyer. So I'm gonna take my first shot, my front to the right side of the Superstar Destroyer. It's two reds and a blue. I'm going to spend my brace token to make the shot because of Palpatine. 
And let's go ahead and I'm going to use the Confire here, bringing in another red. Oof. And I have nothing I can do about it, so we're going to... Have you shot at this guy? Yes, you yes, did shoot on the at the front. front. So this is front to front. I can't sell the No contain. Take, uh, take a crit. This is going into this side? It's going into the side the with no shields. Side. Yeah. I will spend a token with Lyra mm -hmm. to take a disengage fire control and then flip it down. Face down. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a second shot. I'm going to, at this point... If I don't, all right. Spend out the redirect to roll one blue die. I've got a hit. Uh, this is also into the same side with no shields. I salve you into your side. Okay. So you'll still take the hit. I do. That's going to be an evil rainbow. Mm hmm. Close range. Uh, I yeah. have uh, flat guns, so I can. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Medium. Lucky you. Um, so I block your. Uh, the evade. The evade. And you take three. I'm going to spend out the brace, so I only have to take two because I think three is a little too dangerous with the crit. So the crit is target disruption, so I can no longer resolve critical effects, and I have one haul left. It's not going to matter though, John, because. Um, I cannot do anything other than ram into you. So I will ram into you. We'll do uh, one damage to you and one damage to me, and that ship is now gone. We're going to go with Corvus. It has a concentrate fire. Uh, we don't need it. We're going to take it as a token, just to carry around a token. And then with Thrawn, we're going to jump up to speed three and run toward the table edge. Trench. Nav. We're going to use that as the dial. We have medium range shot from my side to the side of the super. And we're going to take it. So two reds, two blues. We are going to spend the contain to make the shot. That's a whole bunch of stuff. Um... I'm going to save that, so we're just going to leave it as such. I brace it to two, and I will redirect two of it to the front. Okay. Then I'm going to spend the salvo, the salvo to make the shot again because of advanced gunnery. And now what I'm going to do is spend, use dual turbo laser turrets to add a blank, to remove a blank, because that seems to be how this is working out. Uh, let's go ahead, block your good redirect, take two crits. I have two shields there. We brace it to one, and then just take the shield right on the zone. Okay. And moving at speed two. With a dial and a token. Dial and a token, I'm debating. Really, what I have to do is drive right into you. Yep. Because next turn I move speed two, yep. probably with the throne dial, and I'm there. Yep. So, this is really my only opportunity. So, okay, we're going to drop to speed one. And do this. Oops. Here we go. Little Gazanti that could. It's going to go ahead and reveal big surprise engineering, taking it as a token and tossing it over to my big guy because I like having nine, <laughs> nine of the little uh, tokens. 
Then we're going speed two, and I think we're going to, with Thrawn, jump up to speed three, and I don't know, can I do that? Yeah, I can. And we're gonna move ourselves to there. Start of turn four. Um, I'm going to use Thrawn. He's going to be revealing a navigate. We're going to use it. Trench is also revealing a navigate. Who's the master of the <laughs> navigation? <laughs> click, 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 click. Um, then I'm going to be revealing an engineering. We gained the token. And then we're going to be using it with the dial to get a total of... Uh, Six. So we're gonna put another shield on there. That's two. And then put two on the front. Four, six. Okay. So that's it. And then afterwards, Vanto says, I can now have 10 <laughs> engineering tokens. I think, does that mean I ought, it's once you reach the magical 10 number, you automatically win, I think. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So then we're gonna make some shots. They're not good shots, but they're shots. So we're gonna attack your front with my side. So that's two reds and a blue we're going to drop the red so it's going to be two blues and a red mm -hmm. into the front of your ship because of the obstruction right out or you can have two exercise silence i will still redirect one to the far side and then one off the front and then one off the front Okay, then the next attack is going to be the side into your side. And that's going to be two blues and three reds. Three reds. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend out this accuracy to reroll both these reds. Mm -hmm. The bleeding shots. Ooh, look, at Ooh, that. look at that. Then I'm going to say I'm going to black out your brace. Take five. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I'm going to take a hit regardless. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to spend the redirect to go to the front. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to salvo you back. Okay, so you're not bracing. So I'm not, I, I could yes. with, with ECM, but I'm not going to. Okay, so, so you take one. Take one there. These three are gone, so I will take one hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, then... here, with the salvo, I'm going to spend the brace to shoot at you with uh, Palpatine. Yes. And I believe it's one red, one blue. Correct. Oof. Three. We, oof. Brace. And redirect. Both to the front. Okay. Two. Okay, so that's it for attacking. Yep. On to some movement, and we're going to maybe move with the second click because of the Thrawn dial. We're going to move to here. This is turn four. Yep. Right. Trench and Invincible. Concentrate fire using that as the dial. First shot. We're gonna make actually both from the side. Let's go to your left side because you only have one to redirect it to. So first shot, we're gonna spend the contain so that I can shoot at you. Two blues, two reds. Um, Use your I'm gonna, dual. the what? Your dual. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So you reroll this. 
Okay, five. Uh, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Brace it. To three. Redirect one to the front and then take two down there. Zero, one, two. Next shot. I'm going to spend out, spend the contain completely out to make the shot. So two reds, two blues again. Eek. Spend the con fire. I'm going to add in a red. Nothing I can really do about it, so take three with a crit. You will spend out a redirect mm -hmm. to push two that way. So one, two, and three. So just shield damage. Yikes. All right, spending the nav dial, or token rather. Trench lets me use it as a dial. We are going to do this move here. So it's extra click on the first yaw. And I land right here. I'm either going to just clip you or let me take the ship off the base, please. No. You do land on the debris field? You land on the debris field. So we are going to take two off the rear. Whew. We are now at close range, though. Oh, yes, we are very at close range. We're going to go with the Gazanti. We're going to reveal an engineering and we're going to use it. Then we're going to take the Thrawn dial, turn it into a token, throw it over to our big guy. So we now have a total of 11 tokens on me. And then uh, we're going speed. I think I jumped up to speed three last time and I just didn't change it. So we're going to go off uh, that direction. Then the raider's gonna go. The raider's gonna reveal a navigate. Don't really care. And we're gonna do that. Zoom. It's losing tokens. And that's gonna be the end of turn four. Moving on to turn five. Okay, turn five. Can I stay on the board? Can, 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 can kill me? Or can I kill him? Try We're going to find out. Five times fast, I have no uh, more Thrawn. Do you have any trench you're doing? I do not have a trench that I'm going to do because I'm going to use your uh, squadron dog. You know what? I was thinking of doing squadrons, but uh, maybe next time. I reveal an engineering. I get a token. I keep the token. And then I use it with the dial for six. I peel off two cards two cards and then i move i just regen one shield i think that's the better choice yeah because you're you're what six for the superstar yeah card? so you get three you can regen you could move one no i i healed two. Oh, right i healed two cards you healed two cards which is six so i'm done is it your engineering tip yeah, four, six. Oh, yeah, yeah. plus yes. a token rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yes, you don't get so the then I do the command, and then I get something else with Vanto. So let's do... I ran out of my one color, so let's take a squadron. I have 12 tokens on me. That's absurd. Okay, so we're going to start with my side to your side. Okay. It is definitely close range, so that's two yep. blues, yep. two reds, yep. and then that lucky, lucky black dice. Okay. And we're gonna shoot into you. How many dice do you got? I have five. I'm gonna take this opportunity to use thermal shields. So, uh, drop half, you, it down. You pick, you get rid of two. I get to choose them. Uh, 
dump the black and a blue. Okay, so I'm rolling into you with two reds and a blue. Can you have chosen this fate? For I... Two reds and a blue. Yes, it is. You don't want to keep it right in there. I block your salvo. Yep. And, and you take two. Take two. So there we go. One, two. Three hull. Oh. Don't know if that was good or not, but odds are you would have rolled at least two more hits with the black dice. So. Yeah. So now we're going to attack my front. Your rear. My rear. Into my front. Into your front. Okay. And that's just uh, an evil rainbow. Yep. However it lands. Or take three. Take three. Um, and I've got three hall. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and I will salvo you back. So these three go away. One, two, three. And then I get the salvo. I get to rainbow you back. Before you have to choose to discard one of your tokens. Right. And I'm going to dump the salvo. Uh, I can't because I just no. no I can't can still because do that. it starts a new phase. So, salvo's gone. Yes, it is. And we're gonna roll in a rainbow because this might be my only good shot. Ooh. ooh. Uh, can I use DTT on the salvo? No, because you can't yeah, add dice. Can't add dice. So, three with crits. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna brace it to. <laughs> I completely forgot I had point defense on you. Yeah, we're gonna just redirect all three of it to that far side that far still side. has shields. Okay. Two, three. Yep. Yikes. Okay, I think that's all of our attacking. Yep, now you get to move. I have to drop with the token to speed one to stay on the board. And I just inch forward to there. Trench. Confire. I suspect that will come in handy. We're at close range from my side. We're going to go after the side, uh, the rear auxiliary. I have to spend my final defense token to make the shot. Two of each color. Let's go ahead and spend the dual turbo laser towers. Get all these out of the way first. And I will get rid of that. And you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's spend the confire right now. I'm going to do a black die for one. So I'm not going to let you do this. You've already shot at my side, so you can't salvo me back. I'm not going to let you contain. Take two, four, five with crits. I will take three, mm -hmm. and so that's going to be that shield right there. Mm -hmm. So the first one's going to be face up, which is injured crew. I will ignore it by discarding a engineering token with Lear Wax. And there should be one more, because you oh. have one yes. shield, right? Yeah. Okay, second shot. Basically doing the exact same thing. I have no defense tokens to spend, so I don't have to. But this is as it lies. Which is lots of blanks. So, John, three hits and three blanks. And I cannot do anything about it. So I brace it to two. Yep. And I will just contain it. Yep. So I take two. That puts me to my threshold. Yeah. So you're going to score 50% of the ship. Oh boy. Okay, so I have to move. And it's speed one. You'll ram Mary like that. Do I really want to ram you though? Yes. Because with a token, I can heal off yeah, one health. And that's that's exactly what I'm sitting there thinking. So So here we go. That will Will it? Yes. It's the Yeah, I'm I'm over your shield dial, so I'm going to ram you. I'm going to stay exactly where I am. I'm going to take 
two shields off the side because of the debris field. Oh, jeez. Maybe you just wanted to move straight then. I forgot about the debris field. Uh, I think it's worth it. So, John, we both take another damage. So I'm at four. You're at 12. This is going to be real close, I think. Okay. Okay, we're going to first activate the Gazanti. He's got a nav. He's going to drop to speed two. And he's going to uh, do that, please. And then the Raider also has a nav. We're going to drop to speed two, and uh, we'll just do that. You don't want to run into the asteroids? I do not. All right. Figured I'd ask, just in case. And so that's going to do it for turn five. On to turn six. six. Start of turn six. The Super Star Destroyer is going to go first. It's revealing a navigate because I need to be able to turn. I get a nav token from that. I'm going to spend off one of my tokens. Mm -hmm. The engineering. Engineering to do engineering things. Mm -hmm. um, two points. Two points. It's one shield. Yeah, that's just one shield. Put one shield there. And then we're going to make two attacks, both at close range, front and to the side, from my rear. I am allowed to do that because, because advanced, of advanced gunneries, gunnery. Mm -hmm. different hall zones. Yikes. I need very little to actually kill you, but we'll see. Yep. Okay. You have no defense tokens, None. so that's fun. Um, Vanto, because I did that, will give me, I don't care, an engineering, because it's cool to end the game with hopefully nine. So, uh, here we go. Three. Get it a rainbow. Oh boy. We spend the con fire to uh, re roll this black dice uh -huh. for take two. I am I am going to go ahead and take two because I have this feeling like if I try to do something beyond that I'm gonna be in more trouble. So I am uh, I have three hull left. Okay. Then we're gonna do this next thing. Here we go. Oh boy, that is exactly three. I'm trying to think if I can do anything. I cannot. It is up to you to choose which one you want to re-roll. We are going to, with the PDIC, we are going to re-roll the red crit. Re-roll the red crit. Yes. Do I get a hit or do I not? <laughs> I'm totally banking on your bad right oh red my dice gosh. rolling. Watch you get a double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> You know, just just for grins on camera, John, re-roll the black one. It's still yeah, not, okay. wouldn't have mattered. So wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Oh, um, you called it. You shouldn't have I, said anything. Every time you do that, it's always a double. Every, every time. So, you know, clearly, John, I just need to say you're going to roll doubles, and you will. Oh, um, man. You're going to stay on the board. Yes, uh, I don't John, even uh, have to turn then. No, you don't. You're 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 good. So you will score half points for my ship because yeah. you did cripple it. You, you are going to score a little bit more than that. So we'll be back uh, in just a minute with the scores. Okay, so we were done after a rather humorous ending there. Not um, what I expected. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to try calling out John's red dice just to see if what I call out happens. <laughs> Normally they're not even hits. And then Ken's out of nowhere. He's like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if it was a double? Because it would guarantee kill me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I closed my eyes and I threw it and I didn't look. 
So um, John's going to go to Las Vegas uh, right after this and uh, no. and win a bunch of money, right? No, I've never won any money. I don't know if I've even <laughs> like I could sit at a slot machine and I can pull it because I did this at LVO and not even win back any of my pennies that I'm putting into it, and then all my pennies are gone. So I just need to go with him and say, okay, it's going to be jackpot. Anyway, uh, so let's let's talk about the score. This was an insanely close game at the very end, in a manner of speaking, uh, because prior to uh, taking out the Providence, I had 159 points and you were at 222. So whoever killed whatever would wind up winning. I needed to kill the Superstar Destroyer. As it stood, though, advanced gunnery came into play. You tabled me. So you got your 400 points plus another 105, John. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's an astounding victory for you because of one shot and one die. Yeah. <laughs> I really locked out into advanced gunnery. Yes, you did. And so when I built this weird how many tokens can I fit on your fleet, because that's really all that it was, and then I'll solo occasionally, it comes down to my objectives are all bad if I go second player. Mm -hmm. Because if you give me um, the living thing. Uh, fleet and bean. Fleet and bean. I can just keep salvoing. I can salvo in the same turn five times and still have my token by just spending off the tokens, which I would do. Mm -hmm. And every time it happens, Palpatine says, you discard. So I was fine being able to do one good attack out the front and then just salvoing the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Or the other option is Solar Corona. Yeah, which... Which you don't mm -hmm. want to pick against the super because then I just line it up and then I just steamroll straight through your fleet. Right. So that's my thing. You, me picking first player because I somehow got the bid, and then you having advanced gunnery is like perfect luck for how not to face this fleet. Yeah, and you see, I picked advanced gunnery for this fleet design because, you know, the Providence can really utilize it. It's murderous at close range. If it you can really just is. throw it in as a missile, it just melts. And, and we saw that. I mean, I was really tearing down uh, the Super Star Destroyer over about three turns with it, and that, that hurt, and that's why I was able to get on the board, um, and that's what we saw. But, you know, I want to get back to some of the shenanigans with your fleet, specifically uh, Vanto, the SSD, and the Executor title, uh, John. So you had, like, what? At one time, I think I had <laughs> 10 tokens of engineering, a confire, and a navigate on it. So 12 tokens on my ship. I, I, this was like Just, your goal, right? It, it the was the goal. Of the game. So I have 10 of the tokens the acrylics uh, so i wanted to get all 10 engineering out at the same time and i succeeded and, and, and you did and i was very happy about that um probably never happened again but i was very happy about it because it's so stupid it, it was just one of those games where my choice really was i had to kill a star destroyer you totally negated my salvo because if i tried to salvo I just lost tokens because of Palpatine. Yeah, so I can attack, yeah. wipe out all your tokens because I'll let you use them. Who cares? Right. And then if you attack me, and then if you salvo me, everything's gone. And I sacrificed basically three ships to have a shot at maybe uh, taking you out. And maybe I should have just kept the uh, hard sell away. Then it would have been an even closer game, I think. Yeah. Um, I really lucked out with my salvo into your hard oh, sell. Oh, yes you did. <laughs> yes you I'm did. Like I'm going to salvo it and then uh, kill it. Cool. Did not expect that. No. I thought we were going to have like this epic duel between the hard sell and, and the raider. raider and then I was going to lose because raiders stink. I was really, really tempted to go after the raider, but I figured I need to do at least one or two points of damage and I wound up crippling by only two. So yeah. uh, I think I made the right call there. But, you know, if it would have got the Raider, that might have been yeah, more I interesting. enjoyed the game. Um, I can now shelf the idea of how many tokens can I get out of <laughs> the <laughs> The answer is 12. There's you go in the comments below. Have you gotten more than 12 tokens onto a Superstar Destroyer? I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. So, originally, I was going to have, like, a 30-point bed. And uh, instead of Corvus, have another Gazanti. Yeah. If I could take three Gazantis, I, w I w had enough space to do it. I just couldn't. <laughs> and then I just would have kept throwing tokens. I was trying my hardest to figure out how can I pass more tokens. But uh, Big Brain Thrawn was like all the tokens. I, I shot at him a couple times and deprived him of a few tokens also. So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, big shout out. And thank you to all of our Patreon members. If you would like to join their ranks, there's a link down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell for all the alerts so you can see when all the new content comes out.
Okay. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Ken. And this is Ion Radio.